Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with another U4 Let's Play episode. As Prussia! Or basically ex Brandenburg. We're still trying to siege here. Oh, Netherlands is coming around here. They might want to do something with us. Yeah, I'm taking some attrition here, but it really is nothing. But the one thing I want to do with the Dutch, though, is I want to destroy their armies. So, right now. This should really be possible, but we cannot actually get to them. That is our problem. And we're still making plenty of money while reinforcing, which goes to show how strong Prussia really is. Now, this is, of course, a problem here. Really? This is... Oh, now we're going to catch them. All right. Caught you, boys. Consolidate just to be sure. And now this stack should just be gone because... We rolled 2 and 3, which gives us combined 5, and they have 8, but here, if you look at this, they only have defensive and innovative, they just do quality, but they have like nothing, so there is that. They have the Dutch traditions, they have some other stuff, but land fire damage is good, but they, they just do not compare to the, our troops. Now we do have these policies here, but we gotta wait the year until we can repeal them. Because really don't need them in peacetime and just just look at how they got crushed like nothing really all right so here we are we're just going to continue moving across i cannot unfortunately go into utrecht and denmark i would like to stop this but now what i do want is Slesvig. so i'm going to take some lands from the danes should be quite good I would imagine. Now, can I actually vassalize the Danes? That is the next. Oh, yes, I can vassalize the Danes. Then once I vassalize them, I can give them back a ton of land. I can give them all of this land because it's their course. And then I can eventually annex Denmark. So that that's going to be good because it's essentially going to be nearly free expansion once we can you know, go into Denmark. But I have some not the greatest alliances. Gotta say that much. But yeah, beating the Dutch here is gonna be quite important. I would say now I don't need my spy to be there any longer. So what I gotta do here is it's just the Dutch, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do ask them for all my money. Transfer trade power. Okay, trade power. N Dutch. How much power do you have like everywhere? Only 16% here. Yeah, they don't have anything here, which is a shame, really. I want, oh, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the Insta, because it gives a lot of trade power. It's uh, an important uh, thing here. Because of that, Minster owns 13%. Well, no, actually. <coughs> <coughs> My bad. <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, it's actually just the uh, Ostfriesland that's giving them so much power. Like maybe they have like some ships too. Oh, Ottomans no longer center me a rival. Well, that's kind of good for me. But still, I'm gonna get the siege going here because there's nothing else I can do. We gain so much men each month, which is wonderful, but I would like to go to war with these guys, but can I really right now? Yeah, because I can't. Now the Dutch already in war with... You see, that's like a little bug that they gotta fix. Because it doesn't actually show properly here. So, yeah, that is an issue. I am gonna screenshot it so I can... <clears throat> know to report it and stuff. But anyway. Hmm. I'm gonna get the siege done really, really quickly. Peace of Espalia, what? Poland has announced me as a rival. Wait, 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 what? Oh, really? Religious peace. Wow. Monetary reforms. How about no? I'd rather gain the inflation because the inflation will drop quite fast because we have the economy stuff. Economy is really, really, really good. We have sieged Helre. So next we probably want to go to Friesland. Now with all our cannons, sieging stuff is just much, much quicker. 
Yeah, I mean, we get like a plus five bonus from this, which is great. Hmm. It's not being blockaded, which is a shame. Reach the walls or something, you know? Okay, there we go. Now this should be much faster. The decline of the spice trade, really? Okay, so now we just made Bremen. But if we make this into a state, is this all part of Bremen? No, this is not. Oh, it's Vesse. And which one is Vesse? So I can't even see. Oh, there it is. This is, this is all Vesse, which is fine, you know, like just make this into a state. We're gonna have to do this as well. Core it. That was a lot of points, but it's worth it. Looks like clergy doesn't all they want. So we're gonna give him this just, you know, less stuff, basically. Or more stuff. Just give them Radibor. Just give them provinces that we don't really need that much. You know, but now we're gonna siege this and hopefully the Dutch give us all our money. All their money rather and we can just an old treaties or something you know because I really want to siege them. But they have like forts everywhere the Dutch which is like really really difficult to siege. Just because of all these damn forts. Now the money we'll get is a lot from all of these uh, things. So I do want the workshop to be built, but here apparently it doesn't give us any money, which is hilarious. But here it gives us some money. Here it will actually give us some money as well. And here as well, that's a lot of money too. So I'll take everything that boosts my economy because boosting economy is always gonna be just amazing. Now we're gonna have more mill power. And if we look at the estates, these guys still have plenty of loyalty so this is the moment we can use to beef up more development in our land if we do indeed want to okay so we're just gonna go straight for Holland then it's just Holland at war anyway but the thing that we want to do right now is beef up more land of the estates or something like wait wait, wait. we need to look at the institutions map mode so if we are gonna look at the global trade I wish it would show us more clearly where it's uh, getting close to being finished. Berlin is still quite a ways away, but Greifswald here is 33%, so if we can continue to boost this, if we can, but I mean, it's something that is quite difficult, as you can clearly see here. Now, I'd love to boost this too, but still, I want the first Diplotech, the next Diplotech, rather. Oh, wow. Well, that was that was a nice boost because now we can give it another boost here, which should mean that the institutions here should be getting closer and closer. It's not giving us too much per month, unfortunately, but hey, the global trade will be good because we'll get so many more merchants, 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 whatever it's called. And yeah, we're still sieging down here. Looks like France is sieging along with us. And yeah, what we want to do is we want to humiliate our rivals soon enough now. They're not gonna give us all of this, which is of course a shame. Mm, just clear it all and ask for all their money, maybe war reps as well. Yeah, there we go, so that's all. There we go! Now I peaced out. So next thing I want to do is of course I just want to start sieging someone or humiliating someone or something you know no CB on these guys now Austria well it looks like some people will join like Burgundy but Burgundy is like nothing you know Portugal Sicily Savoy is huge Milan could be a problem as well and Great Britain is definitely a problem so I'm not gonna go for that now Poland Portugal Bohemia Anhalt will not join really well, that's a bit sad, but I suppose then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fabricate a claim on Anhalt and I'm gonna declare war on them. And then Ottomans, these guys, Austria will not join. Even though they're the Emperor, they will not join, which is great. 
Uh, now, I don't have a CB on them, but now I do. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to call these guys on. Then Bavaria will join, but Bavaria is like... Oh, Bavaria will be nice to vassalize because then we can actually start feeding them more stuff. And if we look at our subjects, we have not a single subject. So Bavaria is the prime target for vassalization, actually. So this is this is going to be good. Bavaria, what allies does it have? Unhold Genoa and Flanders. That's not a really a big deal. So I'm going to declare war here. Called Bavaria. One of these guys. And then Poland is allied, so they're gonna call in Bohemia, potentially, which is going to be a problem, of course, but Bohemia is Bohemia. So that's not something we're gonna do, I guess. But yeah, they're in PU with Lithuania, so I, I don't want to call Poland a belligerent, so co-belligerent, rather, so. But if I call on, declare on Poland, we'll be fighting Bohemia anyway, but not on hold, on hold so, hmm. But the thing is, if I do it like this, if I humiliate them and then in a separate war, I could do two wars in one go, right? Yeah. <clears throat> because Anhalt will not join, and they have war exhaustion, and now Lithuania will join, of course, and Portugal will join, which is annoying, but hey. This is how it's gonna have to be, but... Now we're gonna take it down to three, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna siege Anhalt first. Wait till the next month. I'm gonna wait for the Bohemian army to show up. And once it shows up, I'm just going to siege everything here. They don't have as many cannons as I do, so I'm hoping that I can actually declare war on them first. And Tuam Bavaria will join, but that's not a big deal. Looks like these guys are too much in debt. Wow. Massive debt right there. Now, if I call in Bavaria again, who are you allied with? Well, actually, if I look at this... Hmm... Barely anything, so really I should go for that. But again, who are they allied with? If they're not a co-belligerent, then that might make things... Yeah, well, I'm not going to do it because that's going to make things too difficult. So I'm just going to declare war on Unhalt. I'm going to go siege them. And that should really be all she wrote for them. There we go. Now the siege here should go completely quickly. Because we have like we have the max besieging artillery because we have ten artillery pieces, so there we go. Or rather we have even more artillery, but still. Looks like they will actually come into us here, so I'm gonna They did attack me here, which is sad, but I can, of course, come back and defeat them much more easily, you know? There we go, and now I got my leader and stuff. So now I can just go back and siege them and unhalt. That was a really, really good trade. Hire him or decline? decline. If we gain army tradition here... Well, we don't need it, so we'll just, like... We have, like, nearly maxed out army tradition, which is super, super good. And we barely lose any army tradition anyway. So all I can tell you is that we're in a great spot, basically. If we declare war here, we're still in truce with Bremen, or Hamburg, rather. But in two years, it'll be gone, and we're just about to finish so much stuff, which is going to increase our inc economy by, like, a massive amount. There we go. Now, I really want Anhalt, which is just not going to be difficult to siege at all. There are, of course, some pretty big... Uh, yeah, things here, but I do, all I can say is that I want more artillery and I can just build like three artillery pieces in like three months or something, right? So it shouldn't really be a big deal and I do need to siege Anhalt. And of course, no, I'm going to get the hell out of here, you know, because I don't want to fight them ASAP. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here. Looks like they, they saw that I have units in there, so they're like, hmm. Now, they are sieging land that I really don't want to give away, but hey. Poland-Bohemia is kind of annoying to deal with, but Portugal, I kind of want to make like a peace deal with them, but looks like they're not too happy about it. But this is going to be the war that I want to fight. Now, taking this Miltech was a bit expensive, but it's still good. 
increase the supply limit and more stuff. Now I do want unhalt because that is what I want. Right, so, okay, okay, okay. So now we got this. Wise decision, okay. So now we're gonna merge our troops together. And I got unhalt, so... Yeah, now there's Bohemia here. And Bohemia has a pretty sizable army, I must say. But they're over there, which does not make me happy. I'm gonna go directly for Kohlberg. And I'm gonna go kill Lithuania's stack, because really, I gotta do it. Urbanization is great here, because yes. We lose some ducats, but we're gonna gain so much base stacks that it's like just amazing. Okay, so can I catch them, actually? Looks like I'm gonna be able to catch them and hopefully defeat their army before any support comes. Please defeat them. Or not. But still, we got so such good units that it might not matter. There we go, we just defeated them. Fair and square, you know. But that's gonna cost us a lot. Holy crap. That is expensive as hell. But anyway, there we go, we just totally crushed them. But now this means that, yeah, we need so much that it's like gonna be super expensive. But it looks like Ottomans are fighting here. What? How did the Ottomans join? Oh, they intervened. Very nice. Huh. Thanks, Ottomans. Thanks, Ottomans. Now, what I'm gonna do here is, of course, I want to siege unhalt you guys. If I could make you this. Looks like some people would not totally agree with my decision there, but I gotta go down there and make sure that, well, things are as they are. I wanna finish this stack here of the enemies. So there's that. All right. Well, I'm glad that they're fighting each other here, you know, and I'm gonna take Bamberg back. Yeah, it's gonna come down to me in just a moment. I want to go for Bavaria, but... Looks like I cannot, I cannot actually move forward. So I must ac ask some people for access, and looks like I can. If I get through here, then I need to ask these guys for access. Which is, of course, alright. Blocked by a fort. What? They gave me access, so how, how does that even work? Are you telling me that? Okay, it, it must be Cheb then, right? Yeah, I guess that's precisely why. Alright, so what happens if we just take out our different... What is... Look at this Mantua siege stack. In the east, that's just hilarious what they're trying to do. But I love how the Ottomans here are just like, hello. Now they're gonna use some stacks to siege, and with the rest, they're just gonna go out and destroy them. Or what? Wait, wait, what is this? Mantua, what are you doing here? Right, I want the siege done and very soon. Because Bavaria is like, yup, yup. I hate how they're doing this, you know? Well, I just want unhalt like what more can I say and I want I'm gonna core it hopefully before the war other war ends now I'm not making much money here which is a sad thing but okay we're gonna get the diplo tech here so we should not be costing us too much uh, stuff here of course we still have some manpower but and we're gaining a decent amount every month but you know and I love what Ooh, that's too much, so we're gonna lose some prestige here, but it's not the end of the world. Now, we're losing a lot here, but it's kind of as expected, you know. We have 333 advisors, which are some of the most expensive guys in the world right now. Now, this guy isn't gonna cost us too much, so what I could, what I don't want to do is I kind of want to fire him. You know, but I have to replace him with somebody, so... That is always a problem. Now, if I could get... Uh, I really want an advisor or something, you know. Seek support of the clergy. Well, this could always be good because that makes them like us. Now, I could recruit the Inquisitor or somebody. Burgers, Grant Monopoly stuff. Yeah, that's nice. Master of Mint. I want the guy that will like, you know. Hmm, let's give them some extra this, extra that. Hmm, it's quartermaster, army organizer, army reformer. Really? I 
we cannot get any guy here. That's... Hmm. Eulogian. Now, this could be a guy that's much cheaper. Okay, the missionary strength is good. But it's not definitely not the biggest thing. Hmm. So, I'll just take the guy that is, you know, much cheaper. There we go. So now we're not losing as much money, but the land maintenance guy here, yeah. Still, we're losing money, and that's a fact. And yeah, we're not going to make as much from production, but we're still making a huge amount, really. Looks like there's bohemian peasants on the field as well. Now, unhalt, and these guys will never... Apparently, like, when I say never, I mean never surrender to us. And Ottomans. Okay, this this is this has to stop right here because this is just not going to work, really. I have to force them out, then I have to retake all my lands here because this is crippling my economy right now. Yeah, just revert everything to my territory. Okay, so which fort is here that we need to take back? Okay, that fort. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that fort then. Alright. No, 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 or this one. This one also is a fort that we need. We have taken a loan. That's not the worst that could happen, you know? Now here, Ottomans are still running around for whatever reason, you know? Okay, I'm gonna catch them, or I hoped to catch them, you know? But here, we're actually gonna catch them, you know? So this is good. We just defeated them. And I'm hoping to get unhalt out of this, but that's gonna be rough. Very, very, very rough. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.